Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com and we're at my demonstration blog, Jim's MaxJXL Marketing Team. And what I'm going to be showing you in this video tutorial is how to submit your WordPress blog URL or web address to Google Webmaster Tools. Now in this particular video I happen to be using WordPress version 3.2.1 along with the WordPress 2011 default theme. What I'm going to be showing you in this video should work with just about any theme that works with WordPress. However, if you're using the thesis theme, you should stop the video right now because I've created a separate video that applies specifically to thesis theme users for the thesis theme for WordPress. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to scroll up and down. This is, like I said, the default 2011 theme. I'm just going to scroll up and down real briefly. You can see it's just an average, ordinary, everyday blog. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is just click over here, go to Google, and type in, surprise, surprise, Google Webmaster Tools, and you can see it gives me an autocomplete up here. I click on this link here, and in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that I'm at Google Webmaster Tools. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you need to create an account right now, and you can see there's just some basic information. It won't take long to fill that out. Now, if you already have a Gmail account, I believe that counts as a Google account, and you should be good to go. In that case, you would just type in your Gmail address. Now, you don't need to put the at gmail.com because Google already can figure out that. So just click sign in. I've already opened this account earlier. The next thing you're going to do, of course, is want to add a site. But before we do that, we need to go back to the dashboard of the blog. So once again, here's the demonstration blog. I click on this tab, and this is the dashboard to the WordPress blog, the demonstration blog, where I have already logged in. Now the first thing you want to do is go down and check the privacy settings. So under settings, there's a link here for privacy. Just make sure that the top button that says, I would like my site to be visible to everyone, including search engines, make sure that is the one that is checked off. Because this is my demonstration blog, a lot of times that is checked off because I don't want search engines to find my demonstration blog. There is no point to that. So I'm going to put that back up here. We didn't save any changes, but you know what? I can just click Save Changes anyways. Settings are saved. Now we're going to scroll down to Settings once again. Go to General. And you're going to just either one of these should be fine where it says WordPress address URL, site address URL. Um, if you read this, it says enter the address here if you want your site homepage to be different from the directory you installed WordPress. If you're not sure what that means or you did or you didn't do that, just click on this link right here and that will give you some more information. So I'm just going to copy the information I have here, but before I proceed, I just want to let you know, if there is a www dot in front of the web address, that's fine. Just make sure you copy exactly what you have here into the Google Webmaster Tools. Now, if you don't want the dub 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 to be in front of the URL for your WordPress blog, just shave it off. Just delete it. No big deal. And from now on, just be consistent because you don't want Google to think you have two URLs or two websites or blog sites with duplicate content. So in order to help your SEO, just make sure you're consistent. And if you make that change from now on, never use the www dot again in front of the address for your blog. So I'm just going to highlight that, press Control key plus the C key to copy on a PC or Command C on a Mac. Click in the white space to deselect. And now I'm going to go right back here to where it says Webmaster Tools, and you can see I'm there. Now we're going to just click on this button here that says add a site. Very easy, very intuitive, and I'm going to press the control key plus the V key, like control victor, and that would be command V on a Mac. And I'm just going to click in the white space to the right, or just click here in this gray area. And now I'm going to press continue. 
what we need to do now in order for Google Webmaster Tools to be happy is we need to verify that that is in fact our WordPress blog that's our website that's our URL that we're submitting otherwise you could be spying on other sites and looking at their stats and all that stuff and they don't want you doing that so you gotta verify you can use alternative methods if you already have a Google Analytics account you can just click this radio button here and then click verify and be done with it but I cannot assume that you already have a Google Analytics account so I'm just gonna go back here to the recommended method and right under step one it says copy the meta tag below now before I do that I'm gonna click on this example this example is for a conventional web page a conventional HTML web page but it's still instructive in some ways because if you look here what it's saying is you're going to paste the Google verification in between the head tags and that is similar to the WordPress blog we're working on right now okay so let's just minimize that again now we're back to step one we're going to just highlight that control C to copy command C to copy on a Mac I'm gonna click on the white space to deselect I'm gonna go back to the dashboard I'm going to click home to get my bearings. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down and under the appearance tag, you can see right there, we're going to click editor. And this is the probably the trickiest part of the whole procedure. I'm going to scroll up and down until I see header. The header.php file is the one that we're going to be modifying or editing. So I'm going to click header. I just click that okay and I'm going to scroll down here and if you look up here you can see that is the opening head tag similar to the example we saw at Google Webmaster Tools so right after that is a very safe place so I just hit the enter or return key to give me a, an, an extra line and this would be a good place to paste the meta tag that we just copied from Google Webmaster Tools to verify our site. Now I'm going to press Control V or Control Victor to paste, Command V on a Mac, and you can see we've just pasted where it says Google Site Verification. And when I'm done with that, of course, we need to go down here and just click Update File right there. Okay? So let me do that. and now I'm gonna go back to Google Webmaster Central right there you can see that and it wants me to verify the site so I'm going to click verify right there we weren't able to verify your site and that would simply be because I didn't give it enough time so I'm just gonna pause the video for a second or a couple of minutes and once that verify we'll come back in a, in a bit and you'll see that it verifies okay now I have stopped the pause I've resumed the video now I'm gonna click the verify button right here in the lower left hand corner and as you can see the blog WordPress blog URL has been verified in this case it took several hours in your instance it usually doesn't take that long I have no idea what I, why it took this long this time in any event we're now in a position for us to submit the Google XML sitemap to Google Webmaster Tools and I show you how to do that in another video I hope you enjoyed this if you like this video please click the like button share your comments on YouTube on my blog share with Facebook Twitter stumble upon friends and family take care and have a great day